in Saudi Arabia, obtaining an exit reentry visa is an essential step in your departure process. In other words, it is very important that you obtain an exit visa before you can leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are good. In today's video, we'll be talking about the Saudi Arabia exit and re-entry visa and I'll be highlighting the requirements of the Saudi Arabia exit re-entry visa, the processes involved in obtaining one and the cost of obtaining the exit re-entry visa and why it is important for you to apply for this visa. I hope this video would give value to someone out there seeking information concerning the exit and re-entry visa. So please do well to like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now let's delve right into this video. It's very important to know that there is no leaving the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia without first obtaining the Saudi exit and re-entry visa. Now one would wonder what is the Saudi exit and re-entry visa? The Saudi exit and re-entry visa is an essential document that you need to obtain before you can leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. That is to say if you're preparing to travel, you living here as an expatriate with your dependents, before you're eligible to leave the Kingdom, you must have to apply for this visa and it's important that you get it approved before you can leave. Now there are two types of this exit and re-entry visa. They have one, the single re-entry visa. Now the single re-entry visa allows individuals to leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for a period of 30 days. Now the second one is the multiple exit re-entry visa. This visa allows you to leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and, and come in as many times as within the validity of that visa. Now, the next point we'll be taking is what requirements you need for applying for this visa. You as an expatriate living in the Saudi Arabia knows already the importance of having an ikama. An ikama is um, the resident permit. So you should have a valid ikama. Your international passport has to be valid for at least a period of three months. And now you shouldn't have any unpaid violation fee and the next point is you as an expatriate applying for this exit entry visa especially for your dependents you would need to pay for your dependents it's very important to know that you are the one paying for your dependents whereas you as expatriate you don't need to pay for the exit entry visa now the requirements for your dependents for you to apply for this sell the exit entry visa for your dependents it's number one that your dependent has to have a valid passport has to have an ikama and if you have a child like a newborn that baby must have an ikama for you you to be able to apply for the Saudi exit re-entry visa. Now for the expatriate living in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, how do you apply for your Saudi exit re-entry visa? For example, you are as an expatriate, you want to like travel out of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, possibly you want to you want to go on vacation to somewhere else and you know you have to leave the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You have to apply to get your Saudi exit re-entry visa from your employer. Your employer is the one that signs your document, is the one that you submit your information to, and is the one that approves your exit and re-entry visa. And it has to be stated that you are actually fully due for that vacation you want to go on for them to be able to show you the Saudi exit and re-entry visa. Applying for your dependents, the first thing you have to have in mind is that you are the one doing the application yourself and the one you have to pay for that application. Secondly, to be able to apply for your dependents, you have to go to the APSHA app. There is an app called an APSHA that has details of the employee, that's the expatriate living in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now, all your dependents have the information under you. Whatever information concerning you, uh, concerning your dependents are under you. So you go to your APSHA app and then you apply for your dependents but for yourself you no know, you're going through your employer your employer is the one that approves your exit and re-entry visa 
applying for the exit and re-entry visa for your dependents the first thing you do is to log into AppSha. when you log into AppSha, you go to the services under the services you will see that of family members you have to select that of family members when you select that of family members you select the option for visa after which you have selected that you select issue after which you select issue you go to next you proceed up until the part where you have to like fill in type of exit entry visa that you're applying for then whether it's single whether it's multiple then you have to indicate it there on the app it depends on which one you pay for, whether it's single or multiple you indicate it in the app and then you proceed to the point where you print out this information for your dependent once it is issued the, the, the dependent has to leave the kingdom of saudi arabia within three months of the issuance of that exit and re-entry visa now the next point is the cost of applying for exit and re-entry visa now for the single re-entry visa i made mention that it is valid for a period of like 30 days when you're paying for the single um, re-entry visa application you pay for a period of two months and for that period of two months you pay 200 reals if the dependent now leaves the kingdom of saudi arabia and two months expires after that two months you will begin to pay an extra fee of 100 reals for the period of time that dependent is outside the kingdom of saudi arabia until the time that your dependent comes back into the kingdom of saudi arabia now the second one is the multiple exit entry visa cost the cost of applying for that is 500 reals and it goes for a period of three months you pay 500 reals for three months and then after that three months expires you begin to pay an extra fee of 200 reals if the dependent is not yet back to the kingdom so you need to pay an extra 200 reals up until the time the dependent comes back into the kingdom of saudi arabia <laughs> so it's very important to know that your dependent visa can be extended so let's assume that you applied for a period of time and for some reason you want to extend your application you can apply you can of course extend it under these conditions one the dependent has a valid ikama one then you can decide and secondly that the visa should not have expired for more than seven months that's the ground with which you can extend the visa for your dependent once these conditions are valid then you can pay and then extend and note you can't extend this for a dependent that is within the kingdom of saudi arabia this dependent has to be outside the kingdom of saudi arabia sorry saudi arabia before you can extend their visa now for you as an employee you decide to like extend yours you want you're after the kingdom of saudi arabia and you want to like extend yours you can also extend that but you have to make a payment an electronic payment through your apsha to be able to extend your own visa more than that time that you had initially applied for while still in the kingdom of saudi arabia there's a body called jawasat is a general director of Saudi passports um, the body has stated that if for any reason um, you do not extend your visa and you exceed the stipulated time you're supposed to be back to the kingdom let's take for instance you apply to be away for like three months and you exceed that three months you didn't pay for an extension you didn't extend the visa you will be banned from coming back into the kingdom of Saudi Arabia for a period of three years a period of three that yes they said that you would be banned for a period of three years and i'm sure you that's not what you want for yourself <laughs> you know i know you all know that saudi is one one country that has laws and has strict ones at that so you do you don't want to like you know you, you want to comply to their lay down and um, rules their lay down regulations to uh, avoid you know being in the situation where you are caught up in a very tight position you wouldn't want that <laughs> you won't want that so that is it for this video guys i hope this video you've been able to like pick out something from this video i hope this video informs you i hope this video gives you clarity to whatever information concerning the saudi exit and re-entry visa and please if you did get something out of this video please give this video a thumbs up it's very important to me it goes a long way please like this video and please do well to subscribe to my channel if you're coming across my channel for the first time please do well to like do well to subscribe to my channel it goes a long way. until then i will see you next video Take care and bye.